What's up guys, Toyota OEM bed step is finally here. After about a month of waiting for it to come in the mail, we're gonna get this thing installed. It is one of the biggest cons of this truck. If you saw my, my pros and cons video is the lack of bed accessibility or the lack of a bed step. Finally have it in our hands. Let's get it unboxed and on the 2022 TRD Pro. So here's everything that comes in the box. You have your mounting bracket, the step itself, of course, the linkage bracket, and the bag of hardware. These are the only tools you're gonna need. Ratchet, you need a 10 millimeter, a 14 millimeter, a 15 millimeter, and then a 3 16 Allen wrench. I'm gonna put that on the end of my drill, but if you just have a 3 16 Allen wrench, um, that'll do. Then little plastic pry tool or a small flathead screwdriver, I'll show you what they're for. So that's pretty much, that's what comes in the box, and these are the only tools you're gonna need. Before we actually start the install, let me show you a bracket that we have to get out of the way just to make our life easier. So when you come up underneath the back of the truck, this is the area we're gonna be installing the mounting bracket, which of course I'll show you. But this piece right here is gonna get in your way. So we wanna remove this just to get it out of our way and make our life a heck of a lot easier. All it is at the bottom, it's a little pop clip, which is why you're gonna need the plastic pry tool or that small screwdriver just to pop that clip out of there. And then up top, it's a 10 millimeter bolt up the top there. So just go ahead and remove those and this bracket will come right out of your way. Just gonna take the flat, small flathead screwdriver, get it underneath that tab, take that pop clip out, comes out that easy. Now for the top bolt, instead of a ratchet, it's actually easier if you have an open-ended wrench or a ratchet wrench like this. So I'm gonna use my rack, my ratchet wrench to get up on top here. And I know, I apologize, my arm is probably blocking the view right now, but it's very simple. You just get up on top there, loosen that bolt on the top. And I'm gonna see, we might not even have to take that bolt all the way out, let me see. Maybe we do, maybe we don't, but let's give it a shot. And actually, I think we are gonna to have to, so I'm gonna go ahead and just remove that bolt all the way. All right, so now that we have that bracket out of the way, gave ourselves a lot more room to work. Now we're ready to use the mounting bracket for the step. And the hardware we're gonna need are these two bolts right here and this nut, okay? And if you notice, they have like almost like a purplish tint to them. I'm not exactly sure what it is to be honest, but if you look at them next to the other bolts, you can see they have like a little purplish hue. All right, and then coming back over here to the, the mounting bracket, you'll notice that there's already a bolt installed. This is actually how it comes out of the package. So just pay attention to that spot right there. I'll show you where that goes. All right, we're gonna need the 14 millimeter socket for this part. And this part is gonna come the, a three inch in a three inch extension is gonna come in handy. Um, so if you have one of these, grab it. It'll make your life a heck of a lot easier for what we're about to do. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the mounting bracket and that piece that has the nut, or I'm sorry, the bolt that's already in the mounting bracket, that's the part that's gonna go into this part of your hitch, okay? And on the bottom of the hitch, there's, a, there's already a hole here. So the bolt is gonna go in there and down through that hole. And then we're gonna take the nut that I just showed you and we're gonna get it. Sorry if my hand's in the way, this is tight corners. I don't know if you can see it, but now um, right here, the bolt that's on the mounting bracket is poking through this hole. So now take the nut that I showed you and just get that started. Don't tighten it, just get it started just to kind of hold uh, this in place. Then we're gonna take the two bolts that I showed you, get one started right here. And again, just I'm just gonna just get a couple threads in just to kind of hold it. Now, the one up top, up in here, this is where the three inch extension is gonna come in handy. There is not a lot of room to work up here because you have the bumper right here. It, it, it's just not a lot of room. So you can try to see if you can get it started by hand. I don't know if I could, but again, if you have a three inch, a three inch extension, comes in handy for sure just gives you easier access to get up here and get this this bolt started where it needs to go so I felt it go through right there so we'll just again get it started there we go I felt the threads grab without that three inch, three inch extension I'm sorry without that three inch extension this one could be a little tricky to get started all right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten all three spots down. These get, all three of these spots get tightened down to 29 foot-pounds of torque. All right, next we're gonna take the linkage bracket. 
and we're going to attach it to the mounting bracket up underneath and just so you know what i'm doing because again it's going to be tight quarters you're going to take the other two bolts there's only two other bolts that look like this and we're going to set this up i'll show you what i'm doing but just in case it doesn't come out good this is going to go up there's a little groove or like an edge that this is going to sit against and these two bolts are actually going to go down through the mounting bracket into these two holes so let me get up under the truck and i'll show you what i mean all right so looking up at the mounting bracket you can see there's two holes right here we're going to take the linking bracket and it's gonna sit, hopefully you can see right here, there's a raised, a, I'm sorry, a raised edge. That's gonna help you kind of line everything up. So when you go to put this on there, you're gonna sit, this is gonna sit up in there. You wanna push it back against that raised edge. And then you're gonna take these two bolts and I'm just gonna get one started. So this is gonna sit back in this corner here against that raised edge. It'll just help you get everything lined up. So, see if I can do this without getting in the way of the camera. This would be so much easier if you're not making a video and worried about camera angles. This is not a hard install at all. I'm just trying to stay out of the way of the camera. But I'm sure you guys can see what I'm doing here. It's pretty self-explanatory. And these are the 15 millimeter. Um, you're gonna need the 15 millimeter ratchet for these. So I got them both started and you're gonna tighten these down to 33 foot pounds of torque. One tip I'm gonna give you guys is, I noticed the threads, they're, they're definitely not cross threaded, but they're not going in all that smooth. And the same thing on the mounting bracket. So one little tip I'll give you is, before you actually go mounting it to the truck, take your bolts and screw them into the areas where they're gonna screw into, and then they'll go in much smoother once you get the piece up under the truck and get it attached. So there you can see, I screwed those two all the way down. And now when I take them out, it'll be much easier to get them up under the truck and get them started. All right, don't forget to put that bracket back on underneath there that we took off just by using that pop clip and the 10 millimeter bolt up top. Very simple to do. Now we're done underneath the truck. So we're gonna take the step and get it ready for install. So when you're looking at the step in this orientation, we're gonna be using the first, the second, and the fourth holes. And what you're gonna do you're gonna take, you get three pieces that look like this. Okay, and you can see the one side is raised up a little bit. That's gonna be facing up. So when you're looking at the step like this, again, first, second, and fourth hole, you're gonna take this raised side up and just slide these into the holes. First, second, and fourth. And now we're just gonna grab the linking bracket, pull it towards you. We're going to, let me get the camera over here and I'll show you exactly what I'm doing. All right, so once you have those nut plates in the first, second, and fourth spot, there's three holes, one, two, and three, when you're looking down on the linkage bracket. All you're gonna do is you're gonna take the step, place it over like that, and you're gonna see you want this, this edge to line up with this edge right here. Just pop it in place, and then you're gonna take the only three remaining bolts these are the 3 16 allen heads you're going to come up underneath the step and screw up into those nut plates and that's how you're going to secure the step to the linkage bracket and these the three allen head bolts underneath underneath there they're going to get tightened down to six foot pounds of torque all right guys that's all there is to installing the bed step on the 22 tundra give you some looks from different angles in case you're wondering how it looks or how far it sticks out or anything like that i mean you could clearly see it but it's i guess pretty well hidden definitely still see it but i'll give you a look you know kind of going down so you can get an idea we'll come over here so you can see it from the side and then as far as operation very very simple it's pretty smooth when you want to push it down just get on the side there and uh, push it down and backwards to push it up, up and forward. All right, and then we'll pop the tailgate. I'll give you a look at how it looks with the tailgate down. So you can see it definitely comes off to the side there and makes getting in the tailgate, or I'm sorry, in the bed, 
so much easier. Definitely, definitely should be on every one of our Tundras <laughs> with the design of the rear of these trucks. So there you have it. All right, so we'll give you one last look from this direction. Pop down that easy, we'll lower the tailgate, and it is definitely very handy to get in and out of the bed. It's in a very good location to get down. Um, I just think that this thing should come on every one of these 22 Tundras. Um, it, it should just be stock or standard. So if you have any questions on the install, let me know. Very, very straightforward, very simple to do. Just make sure you remove that bracket. It'll make your life a heck of a lot easier. You actually, I don't even think you can do it without removing that bracket, even though the instructions don't call for it. And then that three inch extension that will help with that upper bolt. So, all right. Um, Highly recommend it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns on the part or the install, put them down below. We'll get them addressed for you. Appreciate you guys watching as always, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care.